Welcome lads, we are back for another video. Today we are looking at 87 rated Roger. He has got 88 pace with 86 shooting, 72 passing, 85 dribbling, 38 defending and 83 physical. He's got 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, high attacking work rates, medium defensive. He's quick but he's not as quick as some other 88 pace cards in this game frankly. He can shoot, but his finishing is not great. He doesn't have three-star skill moves. He has two-star skill moves, so you're really limited in any sort of attacking threat, really. His dribbling is okay. He's strong. He's moderately tall at five foot ten. He can head the ball pretty well. He's not a great passer of the ball. I wasn't very impressed with this card. I did score quite a few goals with him, but it just wasn't really there for me. But now, let's move on to some in-game stats. When we look at this guy's skill stats, he has decent ball control at 87, but he's got 82 dribbling, 84 finishing, 98 shot power, 79 short passing, and 74 long shot. Now when we look at this guy's physical stats, the one thing he's really good at is his positioning. He was always in the right position for me. His acceleration being at 86 and 89 sprint speed, I always prefer the acceleration to be higher than the sprint speed, and it's just not the case for him. I just didn't feel he was at 88 pace. Now obviously if you stuck a Hunter card on him, that wouldn't really be a thing because it's going to boost the acceleration into the high 90s, same with the sprint speed. He's got really good agility at 95, 82 balance, 90 jumping. He's a, definitely an aerial threat. He is strong, that's definitely not a thing you can complain about. But for me, the lack of two star skill moves and the shooting, it just wasn't really there. I mean, obviously, if you stick a Hunter card on him, it would kind of get rid of all his problems, frankly, and that would be a different sort of thing, but just using him on a basic chemistry style, his finishing was not awful because he would get into amazing positions, but there were times where I was like, that should just go in, and it just wasn't happening. Anyways, now let's check out some highlights. He's a very cheap card. He's discard value, so you're really not going to lose any money playing with him. Is he worth playing with? Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's quick and he's strong and he can shoot the ball. It's just the fact that it just isn't really what I would expect from an 87 rated card. Now, the thing that really makes him an excellent player is his positioning. He's going to always be in the right position. Obviously, he's tall, so he can score headers. He's a complete striker. But the thing is, is he doesn't really do anything exceptionally. Frankly, and okay, he may head the ball exceptionally, but for me, I don't give a damn about heading because I just don't head the ball. Now, what this guy can do is he can score with his right foot and his left foot, but the two star skill moves, I just keep going back to that, you're just so limited. You know, when you're trying to break down a defense, when the guy is just pushing all his defenders back, you need someone to do a Berber spin or even a roulette, and this guy just can't do that. I mean, he can do that skill move, which is a very effective skill move. Goes on quite a nice little run here, and he can't quite put this away, but I'm not going to complain about that shot. There were just a few chances that I had where I was like, okay, that's got to go in. He's going to score this, no problem whatsoever. And as I said near the middle of this video, if you stick a Hunter card on him, I have a feeling that it would change the complete complexion of this card. Because you would get the pace boost and you would get the finishing up there. The attack and positioning is already, frankly, through the roof. And that was something I was really surprised about as he just kind of gets lucky with a bit of speed up lag with that penalty. He was a player that, you know, as he plays in La Liga, not Liga, the second tier in Spanish football, whatever that's called. You know, you can link him up, obviously, because he's a Spanish player, but he does lose his value there because... He could be used as a super sub. Uh, I definitely feel he could have some worth there. Definitely if you pack him as an untradeable. But really, he's just not really worth the trouble, frankly. He's decent, but not great. And when you want a striker, in my opinion, you need your strikers to be great. And this guy, frankly, just does not cut it. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.